All right, 210 Boxing TV. Here we are with Bob Santos. In town, uh, working Jackson, uh, Marinas' corner versus Frank Martin. Uh, funny thing about it, though, is you were working Frank Martin's last fight, and now you're working Jackson's uh, fight. Uh, tell us about it. Well, I mean, obviously, Frank Martin's a very talented fighter. I mean, uh, seems to be one of the best young, young fighters out there at, at, at this point in time. But uh, it was an opportunity for Jackson, and it's an opportunity uh, he can't pass up. All, you know, unfortunately, we only have nine days to prepare for the fight. But you know, sometimes you know uh, those types of opportunities, you, you have to take the risk and the gamble. No, you know, uh, high risk, high reward. Do you feel like um, it's a, like you said an opportunity you could have missed? You got to take the fight because you know, hey, you win this fight, and then the next fight is even bigger. Well, you know. It, it, Boxing is the, the, the ultimate in capitalism in, in terms of, you know, you're coming off two losses. It's a what have you done for me lately sport. You're only as good as your last fight. And, and in terms of coming off two losses in a row, and one of those losses being knockout loss, this is the type of opportunity when, when presented to you, you can't pass up. So, you know, you may have to win two, three, four fights and hope to even get into an opportunity where it's an eight-day notice or whatever. So, it, it, you can't turn this down and, and you're just going to roll the dice and, and uh, let's, let's see what happens. What are your thoughts on Frank Martin? Again, very talented fighter. I happen to be in his corner for his last fight, so I've seen him up close and personal. Um, you know, I've had Mario Barrios fought Javante Davis. He's a great 135-pounder. Um, I've been fortunate enough to be around uh, Shakur in, in some of his sparring sessions with uh, Coach Mitch over here and working with DJ Zamora. So I was able to see, you know, uh, him up and close and personal. And I think he's every bit as good as any of those guys. Now, you work with David Morrell. Uh, how has it been working with David Morrell? How, how do you feel his last fight was? And any update on the mega fight between David Morrell and uh, David Benavides? You know, uh, obviously, I think the world of, of David Morrell, I think he's the best young fighter out there to, today. Um, I think his intangibles are second to none. I definitely feel he's going to be a superstar in the sport. Um, as, as far as Benavides, I think it would be a great fight. I, I, I don't know what the problems are, the roadblocks happening between the fight, why the fight's not happening. Um, I'm sure Benavides would take that fight. I know for a fact Morale would take that fight in a heartbeat. So um, maybe it's just a case where the timing's not right. But uh, if they both came to the table and agreed to it, I know both guys would take the fight in a heartbeat. Would it be regular Showtime or Showtime pay-per-view? Um, I, I think at this, at this point in time, it'd probably be regular Showtime. Um, maybe that's what the problem is. Maybe they want one or two more fights, you know, to build the fight up. And, 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 and because, it, you know, as far as the fans not knowing about morale as much because he's from Cuba, he only has six pro fights. That being said, talent-wise, ability-wise, with both guys, it's a pay-per-view fight. You know, as far as their names go, it, 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 with the, you know, the, the boxing and, and the fans and things of that nature, it's a Showtime fight. So maybe that's 